Assalamu alaikum guys uh, There's a special message uh, that we want to give out regarding the RSC uh, Regarding the courts um, They gave the verdict uh, against um, all the parents And uh, basically we are here today in uh, Dover At uh, the White Cliffs Right behind us there at the White Cliffs of Dover We were here We want to give a special message to the whole of UK and One of the main reasons why we came down here Is this message is not just for our town or Birmingham City or anybody. This message is for everyone from the whole of bottom end of Dover to the top end of Land's End. Yeah, we want to give this message to all the brothers and all the sisters, everyone who agrees with the cause and the truth. Now, Ayaz is going to explain to you more what the courts did and what the courts went against us. The thing is, the courts completely gave way um, to the government, uh, the British regime. They came under pressure. The reality is, is that parental rights in this country are being taken away by the British regime. Um, it's, uh, it's, um, it's, 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 it's pathetic and they're turning Britain into a concentration camp. The same way the British government, the UN talks about China and the Uyghur Muslims in concentration camps. Well, they're adults. This is going to start from four year olds. So your four year old from 2020 is going to be put in school, going to be sexualized. And then when you go to your school and say, why is my four year old being sexualized? They're going to say, oh, uh, you, we can't do anything about it, it's the law. And then you'll say, well, I want to take my kid home. And they'll be like, no, you can't take your kid home. And from the moment a school says you cannot take your kid home from school, that is a concentration camp. It is purely a concentration camp. And from Dover to Land's End, UK is going to be turning children, it, taking them into concentration camps. This is totally unacceptable. You've tried this before. You said the, hij the Muslim women with their hijabs were being oppressed. And then you realize that they were very confident um, women and educated and professional. And then you said the halal meat, the animals are being tortured or something. And you got the environmentalist involved and all of that and the animal rights people. And then you realize that cutting the jubilee lane was better for the animal than the electrocution. And now you've just created another thing out of the bulu. Oh, we are supporting the uh, uh, equality and this, that, the other and LGBT community. This is all a fabrication to put people of faith in concentration camps. And that's what that judge has agreed with. EDL can protest all across this country from city to city, and they can be as racist as they want and march as much as they want. And, um, and no, they don't have no problems, uh, no, no issues. You can do whatever you like, not a problem. A couple of parents get together because of their children, because of their faith, because of their cultural views, they disagree with what's being taught at the school. Oh no, the women turned up to protest outside the school. Oh disgraceful, no. Disgraceful. Yeah. And now the world needs to know after 2020, England is getting kids of faith, minority, ethnic, British kids from faith and putting them in concentration camps. And it says in all the advice, uh, guidance, if you look at it, if you go into your school after 2020, it's going to be straight out. Or you can't take your kid out of school. If you try, we'll tell social services and take your kid off you. That is even worse than what the Chinese are doing and what you're talking about. That is the worst kind of oppression happening in this country. So basically, please, can you do us a one major favor for us, please? All we're asking you to do is spread this message. Let all the parents know, starting from 2020, that the game is over with now. Either you do something now or 2020, you ain't got long left, four weeks left, five weeks, the law's gonna be placed, that's it. Then after that, your children- it's September 2020. S S September. September, September 2020, the law's gonna be in place. And after that, your children are not gonna be yours anymore. They're gonna be the government's children and you're not gonna be able to do anything about it. So, you know, please, and oh, regarding all these people, these Labour MPs, and, and you know, we got our own people that are there and not helping us, not supporting us. Shame on you, shame on everybody that has gone against us. Shame on everybody, please, for all the friends and family, spread this message and lots of love and thank you very much to everybody. Thank you. Take care.